Hello, I'm Thorstein and today I will talk about how I use Emacs org mode and cron to do my work. Um, I will talk about org mode and getting things done and getting your Outlook calendar inside of Emacs and how to do your time tracking when you work on Jira issues and pull request reviews and how to report that time into your time tracking program and uh, as well as how to use Emacs to write your Confluence articles and Jira comments. All right. So first off is org mode that if you probably know about before. So that's what I have here on the left hand side. And I will show you an example. It's pretty close to what I use in my everyday work. And so I try to have a, a few um, standard tasks that I always do, like meetings, system maintenance, training, supports. And I like to group these things under different Heading so I get an idea at the end of the day how much time I spend on different areas. But then it's getting things done, and that's a great book by David Allen. I recommend you read it. There's lots of good resources on the internet as well and YouTube's to learn more about it. But basically, it's about how to organize your work and to use different different workflow states. Um, so these are the states I use that make sense for me in my work, and. The full overview you can see here. This is from my Emacs configuration, and the first line uh, are the states that are not done, and these are the done states. And that's enough for me. So I have to do started waiting pull requests. That's when it's a waiting review from my from my colleagues, and then a topic can be merged, or it can be done, or cancelled, or I can have delegated to someone else. Uh, and then it's org reports. So that's great. So let's have a look at that. So let's say I have um, I've done some work here. Um, so I've um, let's see. I'll show you that later. I think. But this is the template I use to generate reports on what I've been working on. So just a moment. We need to we need to have some task. Okay. So let's do some work. I will talk more about this later. But I will track a few minutes of work on two different issues so just to give you an idea and then I'm going to generate a report here you can see that support that's just for me just information for me I would like under support then I spend this much amount of time on these two issues it's a good thing for the end of the day I will talk more about how I use this org report but it's a great feature in site of world mode and then I have set up version control. So I have this running in the background all the time um, that commits all my org nodes into Git. And uh, I push this uh, also, also for cron. So every five minutes I have uh, synced, if you will, my, my notes from my work computer to, to a cloud somewhere. And uh, that also ensures that I have uh, the notes available on all my machines and devices. So, uh, part of my work is to review pull request reviews. So, that works like this. So here I have two issues to review. And what I do is I just copy them. And I put them into my, into my org file here, under the review. I have a shortcut to navigate my org file. So, I bind that to control O because I use it all the time. And then just type review and enter and I jump there. And that's helpful when when the document start it grows very large. There. And then I create um, to do items like that. And then I have something I can track. So I'll start work on that, put that into started. And then you can see there is a logbook entry here and there's a counter running, so that's what you can see. Let's see, down here, you can see, well, zero minutes, and you can see this is the task I'm working on. So that's quite useful to always, it helps me keep uh, keep focus on what I'm doing, not forget about it when I move, you know, have hundreds of buffers open in Emacs, and then it can get difficult to, to stay focused sometimes. So it's really good to have that in on the status bar. Let's say... So that's pull request reviews, and then the same thing goes for Jira issues. So this is um, 
this is my bug tracker and uh, what I do, I just copy the title and then the issue key is in the headline above so I copy that as well and then then I go to the coding subheading and I paste that in and now that this is a new line so then I use the join line to, to move that up and then to do well and I can track some time on that as well. Put it into started. Yeah. Then, yeah, then time tracking and then reporting. So now I track time on a number of issues in, whoops, uh, in a couple of categories as well. And see, so now I lost the clock and then, ah. Uh, what I've done. And the clock in, I want to keep what was missing. Oh well. I go to report now and then I can generate a new report. Now you can see there's two minutes that I spent on reviewing this this task. The headlines, they're just for me. It's just that I want to group to get an idea of how much time every day I spend on support, how much time I spend on reviewing and so on. What matters more are these lines that have the GRH key in them because these I use from script to extract them so I report the column over here, the third one, that time I report on this issue and then whatever follows here, that's the comment on my time report entry. So this is how it works. So here I find today's org file I have one org file per day and then I have a script that just uses the REST API of Jira to, to push this in into the work log and then this runs from cron so every night just before midnight I report all my errors so I'm sure that I get get it on every day and then we use Outlook for calendar and most of the time when I'm in Emacs what I want to do is I want to read uh, I want to read the calendar you know I want this so here I have the Adler calendar inside of Emacs and I find that very useful um, writing you know creating events and stuff that would also be nice to do from Emacs but I haven't bothered even trying to get that work um, so how to get the review into Emacs it's um, you need to go into settings in Outlook. This is Office 365, and then share calendars, and then you find a calendar, and then you all data, and then publish. And what you then get is a URL that you can download. So this is this URL here. It says Outlook something dot com, and then a real long string, and then the end it says dot ICS. And then that I want to write to a file called Outlook.org. And I use a tool called iCal2orgPy that takes that URL, downloads it, and converts it to an org file. And of course, this runs from front, so I run this a couple of times every hour to update it. Now, when it comes to Confluence and Jira, we use that a lot, and I write a lot of articles inside of Emacs because that's where I like to spend the most of my time. Um, so, the way I do that is that if I, for instance, you know, there there's a specification meeting, you know, uh, make pigs fly, and you have some sort of code. Um, like that. And I would like to make this specification here into a confluence page. Then I would do market like this and then ox jira export as jira. And then I get a new buffer with the confluence markup that's usable for creating confluence articles, new articles, or jira comments. Jira comments can also use confluence market. And that's a very comfortable way to create, uh, you know, you, I write my first draft of the article, 
which is 80-90% of their job, and I can stay inside of Emacs, my preferred editing environment, to do that, and then I paste that into Confluence, and then, you know, I touch up, a, I correct a few things and, and stuff in Confluence, but this export here, it allows me to create most of my text inside of Emacs. And then I have one org file per day, and to create that org file, I um, I have a shell script that run from cron and it takes the previous org file wherever whatever if that was yesterday or two weeks ago because I've been on holiday it doesn't matter it takes the previous one and then it removes everything that's done or cancelled it removes all time reports and that stuff and then it leaves me with the rest so and then I have that's the last bit of the puzzle. So I have a shortcut to always jump to today's file. So that's the file we're looking at here, but let's say I was in scratch, right? And then I could do control CL and then I jump there. I'm there. So with that, um, be because the problem I had before was that I sometimes start to write in the wrong org file because I have, you know, my Emacs is running for days and days on end and I will have multiple org files open and sometimes I will just start editing or closing a, a running issue in the wrong file. So this orchid here, it, um, it has fixed that problem for me. I never write in the wrong org file anymore, so highly recommend it. That's it really, that's what I want to share today. Uh, with this setup it works really well for me and I've been running with this setup for a couple of years now. Um, so it's Emacs with org mode, which is standard. Then uh, it's, it's just it's getting things done, recommended this book. And then getting Outlook into Emacs, it's a matter of exporting your calendars as, as an ICS file or URL that can get pulled down and then there's a Python program to convert this to an org file. Then time tracking, that's using standard org time tracking functionality and then binding that with some shell scripts that uses just curl to use the Jira REST API to add to the entries to the work log of the different Jira issues. And then writing confluence in Jira articles, the export, and oh yeah, by the way, when talking about exports, you, of course you can also export as other things, so control C E gives me the um, export dialog in org mode, and then if I select A, out twice, I get an HTML file. So that allows me to go to this one, and then I get an HTML view of it. And here you can see there's even syntax highlighting of the Java code that I wrote. This is something that's very nice if I'm to show something to my colleagues or a brainstorm meeting, and then I have a style sheet. I don't know if you notice that, but at the beginning of the file, Ah, I didn't have that. Okay, I have that in my .emacs then. Uh, and, and you can also have it at the beginning of the file. I have a style sheet with my company's colors and fonts and so on, so that when I export something as an HTML, it looks, uh, you know, company branded. Um, that's it, really. That's what I want to show you. Thank you so much for listening in, and see you next time. You can find my configuration here on GitLab, and this is the URL to the Python program that converts from Outlook ICS to org mode. Thank you.